So Kamala Harris is uh, running for president on the Democratic side, and her past as a prosecutor is starting to come back to haunt her. Now, the most recent uh, piece came from a video that has gone viral. Now, the video shows Harris uh, talking about her truancy platform when she was the district attorney of San Francisco. I have that video. Let's take a look. So I decided I was going to start prosecuting parents for truancy. Well, this was a little controversial in San Francisco. <laughs> and frankly, my staff went bananas. They were very concerned because we didn't know at the time whether I was going to have an opponent in my reelection race. But I said, look, I'm done. This is a serious issue, and I've got a little political capital, and I'm going to spend some of it. And this is what we did. We recognized that in that initiative, as a prosecutor in law enforcement, I have a huge stick. The school district has got a carrot. Let's work in tandem around our collective objective and goal, which is to get those kids in school. So I sent a letter out on my letterhead to every parent in the school district, outlining the connection that was statistically proven between elementary school truancy, high school dropouts, who will become a victim of crime, and who will become a perpetrator of crime. We sent it out to everyone. A friend of mine actually called me and he said, Kamala, my wife got the letter. She freaked out. She brought all the kids into the living room, held up the letter, said, if you don't go to school, Kamala's going to put you and me in jail. <laughs> yes, we achieved intended effect. Okay, uh, so that's Kamala Harris being super giddy about the idea of throwing people in jail for truancy, for missing school. Now, look, I, I think all students should go to school. I think an education is super important. And so I get the reasoning behind it. But holy crap, you're going to throw people, uh, you know, people's parents in jail for kids missing school. I don't, I, don't actually, I don't actually think that's the right way to go. Look, and here's the thing. Who does this law, these truancy laws actually target? That's not the rich kid down the road, right? No, it's, it's the poor kids. And again, I want people in school, but I don't want them arrested for not going to school. So look, I, I think that uh, the families who don't have the resources or the ones who work two to three jobs, they're not home to make sure you know, their kids go to school. They shouldn't have to face jail time because their kid misses school. Okay. Now, of course, she's going to describe a situation where that actually happened and as a good thing. Let's take a look. We created what we call the DA mediation program, where we assigned prosecutors to go and sit with the administrators and principals when they met with all the parents. And frankly, you know the prosecutors in my office who volunteered to do this? My homicide prosecutors, my gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. And so they did and invariably the parents said, well, who's the mean looking dude? And the principal would say, well, that's someone that mean DA Kamala Harris sent over here because she said she's gonna start prosecuting you if we can't work this out. And through that initiative, we found cases like the case of the woman who was by herself, raising her three children, holding down two jobs, and homeless. She just needed some help. But by shining this infrared spotlight of public safety on the fact that her children aren't in school, we were able to figure that out get her access to services that exist. And through that process, the attendance of her children improved. We dismissed the charges against her. And overall, we've improved attendance for this population in San Francisco by 20% over the last two years. All right, so that story, right? I mean, we found a lady that needed some help. So we threatened to arrest her. Now, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. What, you think that that's a good thing? Well, I mean, we gave her the stick and later on we dropped the charges because she did get her kids to school. Well, again, 
you must be super proud of targeting marginalized people and threatening them with jail time. <laughs> Again, you have to understand, right? So this is her, this is her background. So she's a cop. She is a cop. She's a prosecutor. So she has a background of enforcement, carrots and sticks, right? Or in her, basically her words, she's got a stick and she's going to use it. Now, I know some of you might agree and say, well, yeah, we have to get those kids in school. So yeah, if they don't, then we should be able to use the full prosecutorial uh, power of the law. I disagree. I disagree. Maybe there should actually be programs to help those single parents. Uh, and we should not have to have the threat of arrest to steer people into those programs. And look, again, we need better ways to combat poverty, homelessness, and other issues. You can't arrest poverty, right? And you shouldn't be able to arrest people for being poor, working two jobs, not having enough time to send to make sure that your kids end up going to school. Because when you're at work working that second job, you don't know. Your kid could say, bye mom, I'm going to school, and then just come right back home. Who's going to be there? No, you have to have better programs in place. You cannot fix this while involving law enforcement. And she said that she believed a critical way to keep kids out of jail when they're older is to keep them in school when they're young. And again, I agree with the goal, but how you get there matters. And I think the way that she did it was wrong. Now, of course, the campaign reached out to HuffPost and said this, arrests and other interactions with the criminal justice system were minimal under this program and that the initiative enforced schools to work more closely with parents of struggling children and support those parents too. Well, how about instead of you not, uh, instead of not having the, or I'm sorry, instead of having the, I will arrest you if your kid is truant, how about you look into the families and start offering those resources when you start noticing truancy instead of doing the whole let's threaten your family thing. Because again, but she's not going to do that because what she understands is sticks. Again, she is a prosecutor. So now HuffPost also notes that while they say it was minimal, there were a total uh, of several parents that were arrested for their kids' truancy. So there were people that did go to jail. Now, I got to ask, in that situation, did you really help the families? I mean, throwing people in jail, and, and especially poor people, because keep it real, that's who this mostly impacts. You're not going to see a rich kid, a uh, rich kid's dad go to jail. How did that help the family? Again, these people have jobs that racks up debt uh, being in, in jail. You're not able to pay the bills. You're not able to do anything. Sometimes you're not even able to post your way out of jail. How did that help the family? It didn't. It puts people who are already in a bad, uh, bad decision in a worse decision or a position. And I can't support that. There's no such thing as a progressive prosecutor. And so when it comes to this issue, I think a lot of people, myself included, see it as disqualifying. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.